hello guys so today we'll be downloading mysql so we need to just go to mysql download uh click on the first link and if we scroll down we'll see mysql uh, downloads here so i'll just click here and uh, below you will see mysql installer for windows uh we need to click again there uh it will uh, ask you for the version so we are using the latest one operating system is windows uh, we have two installers so we will be using the the second one so i'll just click on download and uh, now we have to click on the no thanks to start my download click on it and we'll start getting download let's wait for some time So it is downloaded now let me click on it and uh, this will open my screen installer it will take some time to install there you go so this is my SQL installer window and i'll click on custom because i want to see which package or which module i'm going to install and then i'll click on next and uh, i'll expand mysql server and in that we have mysql server 8.0 this one right here oh it is hidden so i'll just add it and in the application i need workbench and i also need shell so expand this add this too and the shell also i'll include shell so we have this three things now um uh, this is the products that needs to be installed for mysql to be up and running i click on next and i'll click on execute so it is completed all the products which we need i click on next um, and again next nothing to change port is 3306 tcp ip and I'll click on next again no changes i'll use a strong password for encryption and i'll click on next so here we will choose a password which is important so we need to remember the password which we write here so i'll choose a random password okay so i wrote the password click on next and i'll click on next again grant full access next and i'll execute it again and click on finish click on next again so it will say that it will uh, launch workbench and also the shell I click on finish so shell is loaded this is my mysql workbench so i'll connect it and i'll use the user as root which is by default and the password will be whatever the password i have entered while installation i click ok ok so this is my workbench i have a uh, this ui basic i have schemas i'll go to schemas yeah so this is launched i'm now i'm gonna run a query so this is a query uh, which creates a database first database and using that database to create a table songs it inserts some data to the songs table some columns and it selects everything from it so let me run that query and after running that query you can see the table is shown so yeah that's how you install mysql uh, in 2025 if you have any questions write down in comments and thank you so much for your time